But today is an important day for the well. It's actually been a couple weeks we've been waiting um, to get the pump installed. We've been making it little by little, being careful of uh, how much water we use. This pump is getting dropped into the well 600 feet. Our new well is hooked up and we ran it for like 45 minutes and didn't run it dry. I'm not home right now and Jesse just called me and the water coming out of that well is pure mud. Oh. After it was filtered, this is what it looked like. Something interesting though, the water level is a hundred feet higher than they expected. It might actually be really good news because it might be possible that a new source of water broke in and a bunch of mud came with it. Oh, well, this, this is a little bit prop. Oh, no, dirty again. <laughs> so I'm going to run it until the well goes dry or the pump stops working or it clears up. We started drilling this well in November. It is now February. Soon after we drilled the new well, we got a bunch of rain in the area and our old well started producing enough water that we could live on it. The way that we connected the plumbing and the electrical for the two wells I can actually use either one really easily. And now what I want to do is see if the new well has cleared up. So let's run the new well and see how dirty it is. Starting to get a little cloudy there. Mud, 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 mud. Tons of mud. Let's see if it'll clear up. Too much mud, it just completely overwhelms the system. But a little bit cloudy, then that's what the filters are for. And that could totally work. So that is actually clearing up quite a bit. I'm gonna run it a few more times and make sure to do all the water tests before I start actually using it throughout the whole house. But this is a really good sign and I think this is a usable well. I'm really happy about that because having water is fundamental.